Hi there everyone and welcome back to another video. Not much of an intro from me today because today we're just going to do a very quick guide for those that have asked for it on how to set the tickets to win, that's the game mode score to win, and also the amount of time that the game will last, the game mode time. Now this is something that I get asked for quite a lot and I felt like now's the time just to give us, we get more players joining Battlefield 2042 hopefully, now's the time to give them just a little leg up and a bit of a start. If as always you like the video, if you found it useful, please do click the like button I'm on my way towards a thousand subscribers as well. I had aimed to get that done by Christmas. Not looking likely now, but if you click that subscribe button, it doesn't cost you anything and you really will help me towards my target. If you're brand new here, tell everybody about the channel. That would be brilliant. Got lots of guys already out and got lots of guys coming. Anyway, let's get cracking and show you how to set the tickets to win and the game mode time. So as we might have a few newcomers here, it's just worth mentioning that to set up a server, you do need to go to portal.battlefield.com. Can't do it through the game itself at the moment. More on that in another video, perhaps. And you also need to sign up for an EA account and you can log in with your EA account on the portal.battlefield.com website. And once you're there, you just need to make sure that you're on the Battlefield Portal link and you go to Browse Experiences. And once you're there, you'll find this. Your page, if you haven't set up any already, will have nothing there. And we're just going to create something new and get cracking. So here we are in portal once again we have the main selection screen down the left hand side we have the game mode and that's the first thing that we've got to select and we have the core game modes which are rush conquest and conquest large those don't have accessibility to the rules editor but we can still alter the game mode time in those and we'll go through those first and then of course we've got the custom game modes which unlock the rules editor and add additional functionality we're going to have a look at the core game modes first so the way that it works in rush conquest and conquest large if we want to alter the game mode time and the tickets to win is exactly the same so we're going to pick the mode i'm going to pick for argument's sake rush just for now and then we need to go on to the map rotation i'm going to pick discarded and you can see that it has opened up the other options we're not going to run through the other options in this particular quick video we're just going to go very quickly to the game mode details so these are the core details for the game mode you can alter the amount of players and you will see already just on the right hand side at the top that we can alter the game time just here standard game time for a game of rush is 60 minutes and if we just have a look there you can see that this sets the maximum time in minutes for the round so if we just close that we can have a game mode time of 60 minutes or all the way up to if we really wanted to 400 minutes so this game will go on for ages just set that to 100 for now if you can't quite get it in the right position you can just type in the little box just there so we'll have 100 minutes for this particular game mode scroll down a little bit the final two options that we're looking at are reinforcements removed per kill and the reinforcements multiplier the reinforcements removed per kill is the number of tickets that will be removed every time a side gets the kill and you can set that from anywhere from zero all the way up to five tickets or five reinforcements per kill and as you know if you're playing the rush game mode you have 75 reinforcements per mcom stage so every time you go through a stage the attacking force gets another 75 reinforcements and we can alter the number of reinforcements that a team gets by using the reinforcement multiplier this multiplies up the standard number of tickets for a game by whatever the multiplier is so on one you will get 75 tickets for each attack phase and we can go all the way up to 10 if we want to which will give 750 tickets per phase which is obviously a lot and you can mess around with that and i guess the number of tickets you want to multiply this up to depends on the number of players playing and the amount of game mode time and maybe some other factors as well we're just going to set that at two for now so i can show you an example now the great thing is that if all you are doing is setting up a server with your favorite game mode just want to alter the number of tickets make it last a little bit longer that is it so the game time is altered there and the reinforcement multiplier alters the number of tickets available the higher the multiplier the more tickets that will be in that game and the excellent news about this is that has no impact on your XP. So as long as you don't go anywhere near the AI modifiers or the rules editor, it's full XP in these game modes. So the only alterations you want to stay away from are this AI block just here. You don't want to go anywhere near the rules editor, but of course that's not available in this particular game mode. Once we're ready, save it. So we'll call this rush extended. Ooh, get that right. And we'll put a description in there. More game time more tickets and then of course we can create that mod and it will be good to go in the game 
ready for you to play. If you want to add further maps to your rotation, feel free and that game mode will be ready for you to play when you get online. So we'll just show you an example of this in action. You can see we've got the game time set to 100 and the ticket multiplier, the reinforcement multiplier set to two. Standard rush game mode has uh, 75 tickets. So if we multiply that two, we're gonna get 150 tickets. And you can see in the example, there you go, 150 tickets on this version of rush. Now, the great news is that if that's all you want to do, if all you want to do is just alter the standard mutators just on the left-hand side, so alter the number of players, the game time, and the score to win, the reinforcement multiplier, that's all you have to do. It has no impact on your XP or anything like this. All you've got to do is set your options, add your map rotation, set your game more time and your score, and you're away. Everything works as it should do. Now, I'm just going to quickly have a little mention for Conquest and Conquest Large. The way you set these is exactly the same, so if all you're interested in is altering the game, more time and the score to win the tickets in conquest this is conquest small i'm just going to confirm the switch there we're going to go into the map rotation this unlocks after we've done that let's add discarded game mode details you can see once again we have the exact same options this is conquest small so it's only 64 players and we have a game mode time of 45 minutes so that's standard we can set that from anywhere from 10 minutes to 60 and we'll put it on 60 just there and then we've got the reinforcement multiplier and reinforcements removed per kill. And in Conquest Small, the number of reinforcements you get as standard is 700. So if we set this to a 10 times multiplier, which we'll just do there, we will get 7,000 tickets in a standard small game of Conquest. So we'll just play that very quickly. You can see that in a standard game of small Conquest, you get 700 tickets. And if we multiply that up by 10, the reinforcement by 10, you get 7,000. Let's just very quickly cover Conquest Large as well. No difference here. If you want to set the tickets, set your map rotation. Let's add a map, go into game mode details. You can alter the game mode time in the same way. You can see that we've got the standard setting of 128 players for that one. And then we can change the multiplier all the way up to 10 again. And in Conquest Large, because there's more players, the default setting for tickets available is 1,300. So at a multiplier of one, you're gonna get 1,300 tickets per team. If you multiply that all the way up to 10, you're gonna get a whopping great 13,000 tickets. If you want your game to go on forever, although you've only got 60 minutes max there. And that just about covers it for these uh, core game modes. No need to tinker around with the logic editor. It's very easy to set up your own server. I will be doing a little bit more of a back to basics on how to set up a server if people still need that. But that's it for game mode time and tickets in the core game modes. Now then, if we move on to the custom game modes, because here things just get a little bit different, not too complicated but you do need to use the logic editor. So if we move over into the custom game modes, you can see the game modes that are available are not the same as the core game mode, although we do have custom conquest, little note on that in a minute. But we've got team deathmatch, vehicle team deathmatch, free for all, custom conquest, air superiority and ground superiority. Now the script that I'm gonna give you to alter the game mode time and the tickets to win, the game score to win, it works the same on any of these modes, you can use the same script. Um, the only difference with each of these modes is that the tickets to win or the score to win and the game mode time is different depending on the game mode you select, obviously. Now we're just going to select Team Deathmatch to get started. It's gonna ask me to switch, doesn't really matter. We're gonna go into the map rotation and we've got a selection of maps available to us. Let's just add Discarded again and then the game mode details. And straight away, you will notice that in Team Deathmatch, those options that we had earlier on in the core game modes are not there. And that is because if we want to alter the tickets to win and the game mode score, we need to do that through the rules editor. Now, small side notes on this. Um, it would be nice if the sliders were there and we did not have to go into the rules editor for these custom game modes, mainly because as soon as we start messing with the rules editor, it is gonna impact on your XP. It's worth noting that as soon as you go into the rules editor and add some rules, that is going to reduce your XP that's available in that game mode significantly. So a little shout out to Dice. Nice to see a couple of mutators just in here if we could do uh, to allow us to alter these basic things like game mode score and game mode time. And then we wouldn't have to go into the rules editor. So it's the script that you're here for. So let's just go into the rules editor and get this sorted. This script will work on any of these uh, custom game modes. We're going to do two separate rules, one for the game mode score and one for the game mode time. You could, if you wanted to, put them both in one rule. There's nothing to stop you doing that, but this will just help me make it a little bit clearer. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so these rules are nice and big as well. So we'll do um, set custom 
score to win first. You can type whatever you want into there and we are going to set this event, so this rule to run when the game mode has started. So on game mode started, we're gonna set the custom score to win. Now to get these blocks, they are both appear under the gameplay blocks, the yellow ones at the top, not the green ones at the bottom. So we're gonna go into gameplay and you can see there's a lot of blocks just underneath the game mode section. Lots to do with uh, game mode scoring and everything else. The one we are looking for is set game mode target score. Be careful not to confuse it with any of the other ones. These are to do with setting the score for a team or a player. So we're gonna get set game mode target score. This is the score to win. And then all we need to do is find the literals block just down here, this green one, because we want a number in there. So we're gonna go literals, drag that across, and we can alter the number of tickets to win here. So now I can set this to 20,000, which would be utterly insane in a game of team deathmatch, but you know, why not? So that allows you, that little script just allows you to set the game mode target score. That will work with any game mode whatsoever in the custom section just need that little block. And also pretty easy to set the time as well, the game mode time. So we're gonna go into rules, we're gonna drag another rule, let's drop that underneath. Let's get a set game mode time. And uh, Again, on game mode started, just there. And then we are looking once again under the yellow blocks for gameplay, just there. And let's find the one that we're looking for. We're gonna find it under game mode. And where have we got it? There we go. So we've got set game mode time limit. Let's drag that one into there. It is also expecting a number. Now, just a little side point before we finish up with this one and just go through a few final few things. If we click on help, you can see that this sets the duration of the game in seconds, not minutes. So you must remember that if you want a number of minutes, you need to multiply the number of minutes that you want by 60 to get the number of seconds. Now I'm gonna make my maths just really quite easy here. So I'm gonna get another number block and put that in there. Um, if I want, let's say uh, a 10 minute game, if we multiply that by 60, 60 times by 10 gives us 600. So we'll set that to 600 seconds. Now, obviously, the higher the number, the longer the game is going to last. But do remember, this is in seconds. So if we want 10,000, if you go right ahead, you can have it that long or longer if you want to. And that, everybody, is how you set the score to win, number of tickets for a game mode, and the game mode time to win. When we're ready, we can save it. We don't want it to be rush extended. Let's call it TDM extended on this occasion. More game time, more tickets. Save that, and we are good to go. And that's about it for now. Just a little mention, let's just go back to the game modes. You can see that that little script works for any of these. It's just worth mentioning that the standard game mode time and tickets for each of these modes is slightly different. Most of you probably already know this, but just for reference, you have a standard game mode time of 20 minutes in Team Deathmatch and Vehicle Team Deathmatch and Free For All and the custom conquest game mode they're all set at 20 minutes you have a standard number of tickets in team deathmatch and vehicle team deathmatch of 200 so you can alter that if you wish in free for all it's 50 obviously because it's every man for himself and with custom conquest let's just show you that it is slightly different because it depends on the map that you choose so if we go into map rotation for custom conquest you'll see that we've got some small maps and we also have some large maps just at the bottom of some medium sized maps. If you pick one of these smaller maps, we'll just show you that on the screen now. You can see that in the smaller maps on Custom Conquest, you get 300 tickets for a default and on the larger maps, you get 700 tickets for a default. But if you're gonna change them through the rules editor, well, that doesn't really matter, does it? I'm just gonna show you the script one more time on this screen so you can copy that down or you can use it yourself. Feel free to pass this on to other people if they need it. I do get asked it a lot and it's a quite simple thing to achieve for everybody. Shouldn't be overfacing for anyone, but just bear in mind, one last reminder, if you use the core game modes and you don't touch the AI, no effect on XP, but if you're gonna use the rules editor to do this, it will affect your XP, it does reduce it. Until die, so ripple effect, put those mutators on the game mode details screen in the custom game modes and then we wouldn't have to faff around with the rules editor and everyone would get full XP. Right, that's it for me. Thanks very much for watching. Like I say, if you know anybody that needs this, please do share it with them. And if you've got something out of it, if you found this useful, if you're going to use that script, please do click the like button. Really does help me with the YouTube algorithm and all those other people that are looking for this will be able to find it. And in addition, if you haven't done already, 
please do click the subscribe button really helps me 1000 subscribers got a special event planned for it um, if you're watching this in the distant future you know maybe i've got a lot more than that you never know in the meantime it's great to speak to y'all got more videos coming soon see you later take care bye bye